I had a blast making them, but it did take me a few months with other things going on. You know how that is. Um, so I apologize if the video is a little long. I'll try to shorten it up. I did a lot of time lapse. Um, that way I wasn't chatting the whole time. These turned out really great. I hope you stick around in the video to watch it again. I haven't even started editing this video, but the amount of footage I took was ridiculous. So like I said, I'm gonna try to shorten it down. Um, they are awesome though. All right, let's see how I made this. Well, first you need to find a dog and I found mine off eBay. They're gonna look like the Dima dogs. <laughs> yeah, right. I got a smoking deal on these dogs. I lucked out. And this is why I'm doing a voiceover for most of my video. Crows, lawnmowers, you know, noise. So my plan is to attach the new heads in there. I'll strip the screws off, of course, but this little piece right here, I'm gonna take out and reattach to the new head that I'm gonna be making. So I have to, fi I have to make five new heads. You have to remove all the little tiny screws in the neck first. Then after you do that, you pry it open and pop out the head, pop off the head. This is important right here. Mark it. That's where your head, your new head's gonna go. You can see how it slides in the base uh, like a puzzle piece. So the next step was um, to fill them with spray foam. The demo dogs are skinny creatures, so I hope to make them not too fat and skinny with loose skin. The next step was um, cutting out some wire, chicken wire, rat wire. I used my kid's mask to make a template. It, was, it ended up being the same size that I needed for the heads. I got a lot of blisters doing this. Here they are, they're all done. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is just making, drawing out the um, Demi Dog's head, the Demi Gorgon's head, um, that petal shape, um, iconic monstery head. Um, and then I'll have a template. And then once I have the template done, I'm gonna put it on the foam that I have so I can cut them each out. So I finished cutting out one and then I have a few more to do. My goal was to take the same pattern and then sandwich them and glue them together. This, and that way it would make them thicker and then I would carve them. After we cut them all out, it was time to sandwich them together. So I used the barge cement um, and heavy pieces of steel plate to squish them together and they sat that way for a couple days. Then it was time to cut them. I uh, carved them out, gave them like a little beveled edge. Each and every one of them, this made a huge mess. The Dremel, my favorite part. I spent a lot of time on this. I um, try to give it more character and detail. And if I was using tissue paper for the um, layovers, it might have showed more of that detail, but it did help definitely. Gave it some depth. It's probably the only time you'll see me in a puffy jacket doing Halloween stuff. It was cold. I was getting creative. I got foam in my eyes. This worked well. So these are uncoated foam balls. I had to order these and it took a while for them to get here. So I used these for the back of the heads. Just cut them in half. So I used barge cement again to glue each foam pieces together and then you put heavy weights on them and you let it dry for a couple of days.
The next thing I did was um, put them in different posable positions that I liked. I wanted each one to look different. So I had to use um, a heat gun and stretch them and bend them as you could see that melted and I was gonna, I, I did fill it in with foam to fix that. Uh, this took a lot of time, but I like the way they looked after they were um, changed. The demo dogs have very bendy knees, so I was trying to match it the best I could. After I used the heat gun, I filled them with more foam. This way they were fuller, and then I used an X-Acto knife to carve them. As you can see, he needed to go to the groomers. Much better. So I just carved and shaped and carved and shaped for a few hours that day. <laughs> my loyal companion always by my side. Remember those pieces? We saved those. Now it's time to put them back in the heads. So you gotta save all those tiny little screws and put it back together. This way you can attach the heads. So there they are, all those little screws. You can see where that X is. That's where I cut a mark where I put each head onto the body and I positioned them, positioned them in a way I liked. After that, I um, used the barge cement again and glued them into place. And again, they sat there, sat there for a couple days just um, drying. Oh, now we're getting to the messy part. This is a um, paper clay mixture that we made up. And then we just put it on the dog and I covered each and every one of these dogs with this paper um, clay. Again, this took a very long time. Um, it's funny, when you do these time lapse, it looks so fast, but a 20 second time lapse is like two hours. So this took me a full day to um, coat each dog. <laughs> my husband took a picture of me spanking my dog. So these things are nice and dry. Um, so the next step we'll do is, um, yeah, these are a little drier. These are the ones I first did. Next up is skin. So I'm gonna mix together some latex paints and some outdoor stuff and start um, skinning them. This was my son's job. I asked him to rip apart about five rolls of blue paper towels. He loved it. Now we got to mix the paints. This is my goof paint. I've only spent like five bucks on it. I mixed half and half of each one with a little bit of the outdoor um, Mod Podge. Poured it into a bucket and then I used my drill and I stirred it up really good. There I am, mixing it up. It's five o'clock and I started at 10 and one of those was half done before that. So three dogs, <laughs> three dogs. I am so over this, I will never do it again. Yeah, three dogs, three and a half, four dogs. I am disgustingly messy. I don't think I'll ever do this again. One dog, not six.
So you take each one of those paper towels, you soak it into the paint, you squeeze off the extra, and then you layer and layer and layer, and then you just let them dry for a couple days. So after they dried, you um, spray them with primer. I've got this spray paint that's an outdoor primer and just did a couple layers on them and it gives it a nice thick coat. And then I have a base that I can do um, some more detail paint over that. Again, started early in the morning. I used a little bit more spray paint just to do this. Okay, now it's time to paint. These are the colors I did. I did a flesh um, color that ended up looking a little yellow, but the finished result looked really good. I didn't want them really dark because they're gonna be in a dark area. So if you paint something really dark, then you're not gonna see it. Depends on the lighting you have on there. Uh, so this was a mixture of like a flesh color, some green, some gray, some black, a little bit of pink on the edges and I just continued to paint throughout the whole entire day in the garage. Well, 7 a.m., I woke up at 6, had my coffee, and I'm ready to get to work. After I was happy with the airbrush, I took them outside and gave them a clear coat, a weather protection clear coat spray. And I did a glossy one because the demo dogs are actually very um, gooey looking and wet. I used moldable plastic for the teeth. Um, I look back now and think, I gotta be careful with these demo dogs because if they're in intense heat, those teeth might melt. I did have them outside in 105 degree heat and it was fine, but if you stored these in the shed and it got to be 150 degrees in there or your car, they might melt. So I'm second guessing them, but I just love how easy it was to work with. So this was a very hot day, so I utilized the inside with the air conditioning to spend hours gluing on each individual teeth. I used my Ryobi glue gun and just went away each tiny little twofer. Once I was done gluing them on, I needed to make them look a little like teeth. And so you need to put a little yellowish brown paint around each one because monster teeth shouldn't be pearly and white. <laughs> so after they got their paint I um, and dry, I put diamond glaze over each and every one of those, those teeth. It also adds as an adhesive, so it sticks on there. I mixed it with a little red food coloring for the first coat. Um, this way it looks a little red like gums and blood. So you pour it into a glass jar and then you add your red food coloring to that and then you mix it up really, really well and then you just start painting over each and every tooth. Um, it drips down and it's, it dries clear so it looks like blood, um, like saliva and blood. Again, another early morning inside because it was hot outside but this one was just too messy so I went outside and I finished with the clear coat so you have to make sure your first red coat is completely dry before you do this 
The clear coat will dry crystal clear and it makes it look like um, wet saliva. Well, I finished just in time before the sun comes up right there. Before the 100 degree day. And now it's breakfast time. Thank you.